Katie Mike with DVD Millionaire here. And are you using too much industry specific lingo when you're selling on the doors or talking to prospects? If you are, it could be a major reason of why you're not getting the sales that you should be uh, in your business. And one thing that a lot of sales reps do is they get specific product knowledge or specific knowledge of their industry and they start talking about it, which is good, but they do it and don't really explain what it means to their prospect. And one thing that you really want to keep in mind is a confused prospect is far less likely to buy than one that's engaged and understands what you're talking about and what your products and services do. So the wrong way would be to, you know, name drop specific products. Like let's say, for example, you're in pest control. Most people aren't aware of that industry a whole lot. So when you're dropping specific pest terms or products and specific names of products, most people aren't going to follow along and they might lose you where instead of building credibility, it's going to create confusion. The right way to do it is going to be explaining full circle what that means. So let's say you're talking about a pest product, for example, and you name drop a specific product line. Now, if you do it the right way, you're going to explain, you know, what it does, why you're using that specific product, uh, how it's going to help with the specific issue that that potential customer has. They're going to be on the same page with you then. Or if you're explaining like life cycles of pests, for example, and you start getting into the science of things, it could be way over that prospect's head and confuse them. But if you explain it in simple terms, in addition to using those high high end terms, that specific industry lingo, uh, they're going to be on the same page of you. So one great way to kind of think about it is speaking at a sixth grade learning level. So if you're speaking at that level, it, some people are going to be more advanced and have more knowledge on your industry, your products and services, for example. Other people aren't going to know a whole lot. But if you explain it in the effect of a sixth grader would understand, most people will be on the same page and you're going to make a lot more sales. So again, hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video on when to use industry specific lingo and how to use it. Uh, if you did, feel free to comment and share. And if you are in pest control marketing or door to door sales, be sure to head on over to ddmillionaire.com. Any of your name and email, you're going to get access to our free video training on how to overcome the eight most common objections in pest control marketing and door to door sales. So things like I want to think about it and talk to my spouse. I do my own pest control. Why would I need to hire someone? I'm not seeing any pests. Why would I need to hire a service? Those and a whole lot more. Again, over at ddmillionaire.com and just enter your name and email for access to that video training. Thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. We'll talk to you again soon.